there, it's Jess. Today I want to talk to you about some camping chairs that we have. And I've got two chairs here and I'm going to tell you about the difference because one is very expensive, one was very cheap, and they seem to be very much the same chair. So my husband rides motorcycles and when he goes on long trips he likes to stop, get out, stretch his back, his legs, rest his butt, and the places he goes are nice, like Angeles Crest in California, and he likes to sit a while. So he asked me last summer, well, he's like, hey, I need a camping chair. And I'm like, okay. And he's like, well, I need this one on Amazon. And I went and looked, and it's like a $90 chair. I'm like, are you kidding me for a camping chair? But these chairs, this is the Amazon camping chair. These chairs, they only weigh 2.2 pounds. They fold up in this little bag and they hold up to 300 pounds. They have great reviews and since they're so portable this is what he was looking at. So I'm like fine get the chair. So he went on his trip and he used it and it worked great. Very nice little portable chair. Um, it's actually really comfortable. <sighs> so you know this is the chair he got. So after we got this chair we went to another site, a Chinese site, and we found this chair, which, as you can see, looks very similar to this chair. So the Amazon brand that we got is Helinox. The Chinese brand is nothing, or nothing labeled. As you can see, they're very, very similar. Um, the color's the same. The Chinese chair is actually maybe a teeny bit taller. The Helinox chair, everything looks the same except the logo is in the chair. Feels the same to me. Yeah, nice and sturdy. The Chinese chair, um, I mean, the Amazon chair actually said it's made in Korea, so it's not like this is a USA chair and this is a Chinese chair. Um, other than that, I'll show you some little differences in the chairs. Besides the Amazon chair having lots of logos and marks all over it, they go together the exact same way. The poles on both of the chairs They're similar, but they are a little different. The Amazon chair is a little colder, but it's a smoother metal. And this Chinese chair, it, it's a little rougher, maybe just the paint. The little end pieces on the bottom are different. I'd almost say that the, the Chinese chair would be safer, because, I mean, I don't know, just the design looks like it would actually work better, but I don't know. The, the, the joints holding them together, they're different too, a little bit, but I can't tell that one's better than the other. They both fold up in their little bags that are pretty much the same design. <laughs> and just to show you how these chairs come apart, this one apart so you can kind of see. Oh, I guess the, the chair part comes off. And you just kind of fold it up, probably not like that, if you actually wanted to put it in the bag. And so it's like a tent. You know, all the pieces. You know, because tents are so easy to put together. Honestly, this chair is a lot easier than most tents I've ever put together. So this is kind of how it kind of folds up and then it goes in the bag like so along with the little mesh seat that you would fold very nicely to get in the bags. So, Helinox chair, $90 on Amazon. I'm going to put the link below. Chinese chair. $25.
I also put the link below. I'm going to say I'm going to go with the Chinese chair for $25. It seems like it's just as good. And it's, like I said, this is made in Korea, so it's not like I'm, I'm you know, not doing cat ones out. So anyways, that's my review on the Helinox portable camping chair versus the cheaper Chinese camping chair. Hope you like it. Thanks for watching. Bye.